All right, uh, to business, let's find out what's happening in the financial markets now. And the Ghana Stock Exchange recorded a profit of the tax of 4.18 million cities last year compared to 1.04 million cities in 2013. The council chairman of the exchange, Dr. Sam Mensah, explained that part of the profit was from the sale of the GSE Securities Depository. The GSE Composite Index, which measures the performance of the entire market, made a marginal gain of 5.4% compared to 78.8% recorded in 2013. Dr. Samensa, at an annual general meeting in Accra, attributed this to the negative impact of the energy crisis and the depreciation of the CD on listed companies last year, resulting in a supply outstripping demand on the market. The council chairman recommended that core market services, such as the purchase and sale of shares, should not attract tax under value-added tax, similar to the situation where VAT is not applicable to core services of the banks. You know, we want to, we want to continue to develop the culture of... Uh shareholding or equity investments. So we want more Ghanaians to have the opportunity to participate in the market. The more uh, participation we have, the better it will be for the economy because then all companies in Ghana can now go to the market, raise more capital, grow their companies, um, and then create employment. This chief executive officer of Samba Foods Limited, the first small to medium enterprise to list on the GSE, highlighted some challenges in securing investment capital. Before you are able to attract funds from the public, it means that your company should be sanitized in such a way that you, should, you can sell easily to the public. It is also rewarding because um, the money that you get you are not paying any interest on it but then you have diluted your ownership that means if you have profits you can't have it alone you have to share it with the other shareholders the Ghana stock exchange urged government to reduce its holdings in state companies in favor of the public and the accrued net proceeds to finance infrastructural projects well, that's all for business. We'll return to do sports. And as you may be aware, the English Premier League uh, begins tomorrow.